Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see about these search items. So now the concept is what I want to do is whenever I am trying to search the items here, milk I am trying to search means. So here the items, whichever the items are available. So only the milk item has to appear. So that means just like a searching. So search box, just like a, just like a search box. So let's try to work on this one. So here what I need to do whenever the user types on this one. So types on this one means we need to have an event. There is nothing but key up event. Let's try to catch this form, uh, this text box and we'll apply event listener, key up event listener to this one. So let's go to the shop english.html. Here this is the input box that is available and that input box is available in the form. So we know as uh, we are already discussed that accessing the forms in the DOM is available in two ways. So you can directly get it with the get element by tag uh, ID or otherwise these are available in the document.forms, right? So document.forms with the tidy name also you can get it. So here the ID is search of an item. So here this is the ID name. Okay. So like this also we can get it. So let's try to do it within this way. So in the main.js right now we are working on the search items, search, searching items. So first we need to get the form element. So here search element, okay, search element is equal to document dot forms, document dot forms of search hyphen item. And in this one, we need to catch the input element. So here we are having this input element, right? In this one, we need to catch the input element. Here I can use dot query selector of input type is equal to text type is equal to text and last is so this is the thing so this is the text uh, input text so if i try to do the console.log so console.log of search element if you see this one in example here so here we are able to so we should be able to get this search element okay i didn't save it yeah so here we are able to get the input element in this input element we need to catch the value a text value whatever the user is typing in this one we need to catch the text value so here for this such element we need to apply an add event listener of key up so whenever the user types a key up so we will get an event okay i am not using the event handler supplement thing so here let search text search text is equal to event dot target dot value so the target is nothing but the input box let's console this search text search text and here if i try to enter m m i l k see we are able to get the values so if you try to observe it clearly we are able to get the values m i l k so whatever that you whatever the thing i am typing here we are able to get the values so we should we, we are able to get it now what i want to do so here whatever the things i am typing so if i am typing in m i l k in capital letters it should be converted into lowercase letter. Why? Because we need to search it. It should be case insensitive. It should not be case sensitive. So what I can do here, I can apply two lowercase. So I will apply this one to two lowercase. So now we got the search text. So we got the search text. Now what I want to do. So using this search text value, I need to capture these all the values. So that means I need to traverse all these LA items. These are LA items, right? I need to capture these all LA items. I need to take, take this text value. And I need to search whether this is matching or not. Like this, we need to do. So for this one, what I need to do? What I need to do? So constant groceries list is equal to document document dot get element by ID of grocery list, right? Groceries. I don't remember the ID name. So grocery list inside this one, we need to capture the UL. Okay, grocery list. This is the grocery list hash grocery list and inside the ul so this is the groceries list now i want to get the groceries constant groceries groceries la items right so or otherwise you can also have constant groceries we can have groceries li <clears throat> is equal to groceries list dot get element by tag name of la item so this is the so these are groceries let's have it as a groceries only instead of having so now we are able to get the groceries if you try to see in the shopping list 
I am catching, I am capturing these all LA items. Okay. These all LA items I am capturing. So here this one will return the um, what I can say HTML collection. Okay. So you if you remember HTML collection for each loop will not work for this HTML collection. So for this one, what I can do is groceries is equal to so here. Let's convert it to let or otherwise you'll get an error. Is equal to array. I am converting it to an array. Array dot from of groceries. Okay, so I have converted this groceries to uh, array. Now let's try to loop over this one. Groceries dot for each. So we can apply for each for this one. So here this is a for each, and here you will be getting each one, each grocery you will be getting. So here if you try to print this grocery, console dot log grocery, I will try to show you. Now here if I try to print m cannot elements by tag name grocery list we got the real element okay element by tag name so we need to use elements by tag name of ul and we need to take only zero yeah so first element we are trying to do so here if i try to search the item m to get elements by tag name so we are not able to get it again we are getting an error oh sorry 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 we use very selector okay or otherwise uh, yeah query selector we use like this only query selector and we'll get this item this is all mistake by me only so we'll try to use mi so now here we are able to get the li items each li item i'm able to reproduce it so i'm able to get it okay i'm able to get this all one by one grocery now what i want to do so for in this grocery okay in this grocery i need to what i need to do is grocery so i got the grocery first i need to i got the la element in this la element i need to capture this text content so that means first span element so here i can do let grocery name is equal to grocery dot first element child okay or otherwise ah uh, yeah grocery dot first element chain first element child first element child is nothing but uh that span thing dot text content i can use this text content so now you will try to do console dot log grocery name so now if you try to see so what will happen see so i am trying to search m so text containing first element chain grocery so we got the grocery and we are we are trying to do first element chain so what could be the problem here first element chain let's try to search it again m cannot read properties undefined text content here first element okay here it should be f should be small so because of this case in students maybe maybe this could be the yeah so here i am able to get milk sugar pizza so whenever i am trying to type the data so here i am able to get all the values so we got the grocery name and what i will try to do so this text content we are getting right i will convert it into lowercase okay i will convert it into lowercase now i need to search that grocery name grocery name dot so here we can use index of if grocery name dot index of the search text the search text right search text which we have used it so which we are getting it this search text is not equal to equal to minus one if it is not equal to minus one means then what i can do here if it is not equal to minus one means then i need to show this grocery dot style dot display is equal to block okay or otherwise so what i can do here grocery dot style dot display is equal to none so we can use it like this that's it so this is how we will be doing now if i try to search the items here let's say press it and here i am trying to search the items m t i am able to get the values if i try to do pizza so pizza i am able to get the pizza if i am trying to search something which doesn't exist so it is not coming so now we have successfully did the search the searching element using the key up so what i have did what have we did here so first we capture the search element so the input box and we have added an add event listener key up and we have added this uh, we, we took the search text value 
and we are taking all the ul items and the la items and we are looping over over all the la items and we are catching the first check element shell that is nothing but the span which contains this text content and i am catching this text content i am checking that whether that the, the text what is typing what is right typing the user it is existing or not in this one so it is matching or not if it is matching means so for example if i try to do ilk then milk we can be able to get m also if you don't type also so it's the part of the text is matching right that is what about the index of okay so here if i try to do ml why means it will not come why because so that text is not available so this is all the, so then i am showing it or otherwise i am hiding it so this is all about this uh, such things so now almost all the things we have did it so now delete is working so adding an item is working and if you want to search for this one this is also working okay so this is also working so everything is working so everything we have did it so i think the most of the things the project is completed right so we'll try to do some improvements and all those things in this one and we'll close this shopping list hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you